was a young girl, I used to watch Miss Universe on the television, and I thought, it's so far, it's so big, I can never get there. But to actually be here right now, knowing that in just a couple of days I'll be on that stage, <laughs> I'm just so incredibly happy. And to be representing for my home country, Thailand, I'm just, I'm in awe, I'm in shock, and it's the best feeling in the world. I'm so blessed to be here. And I cannot wait to be on that stage and really perform and make my country proud. believe that I'm here you know with the COVID situation I'm so glad that we're all here and that there's so many girls that are able to be a part of this competition and what it makes me realize is that the world isn't that big when you see all the girls in the auditorium together from different countries and everyone is so nice and so lovely they're so warm and I can't wait to get to know everyone and also it's it's so unique to see that everyone was born into such different cultures, different uh, languages, but we're all here together to tell our stories. Oh my goodness. The, the, well, Thailand is very far away. That's one thing. And I really had to, it, was a, it wasn't a struggle to get the visa, but it was a, a long process. And when I got the visa, I was very excited. But the journey here, the physical journey, if you can believe it, it's, it was more than 30 hours all the way from Thailand, yes. So I had to make a stop at Istanbul and the layover was eight hours there. Oh my goodness, but it was so amazing. I'm so uh, blessed that some of my teams were able to come with me as well, my national directors. So they were there to keep me company, making sure that I'm okay and, you know, giving all the support. My, it's it's absolutely everything. Knowing that you've got that support, it is the motiv motivation that keeps me going every day. Every time I see a message online and they're saying that they're supporting Thailand, and you know, it's so nice to see the nation coming together to support their candidate, to support their representative, and it's just how a, con a country thrive because we cannot thrive alone. We have to move forward together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I believe oh, they are so amazing. Every time I come down, they would be screaming, Thailand, Thailand, Thailand. We came down here at 7.30 in the morning and they're already there. I think they're camping out there. But they've been so supportive and I actually know quite a few of them. Some of them are big YouTubers in Thailand and flew all the way here just for the competition. But you know, pageantry is so big in my home country and it's, it's almost like a national sport. So the whole country gets behind it, they're very supportive, you know, and they're just right behind you. And I just want to say thank you to them for being here. I know that not a lot of people were able to be here, but I want to say thank you because every time I walk down and I hear Thailand, it makes me smile. It puts a smile on my face. I mean, it makes me want to make my day better. I want to go better and I want to go in with 100% to do whatever it takes. What is it like here? It is incredible. It's an incredible journey to have been able to meet all of the girls. Because you know when you know of each other online and you've been messaging, you're on WhatsApp, there's a WhatsApp group, you've been talking, but then to actually come here and meet them in reality, it's just a whole different feeling. And it's just so nice to get to know them better and to know their stories because each of them are so inspiring and they're so empowering and they have different stories that make them the woman that they are today and I think it's just unique to get to know them. It feels amazing because this is my dream since I was a kid. You know, when I was a kid, I talked to myself when I saw the TV. One day, I want to be the first Miss Universe from Indonesia. 
it was like five years old. But then I say to myself, it means because it means that um, nobody is gonna be the winner of Miss Universe from Indonesia if I pray like that, right? Yeah. Because I was saying like the first. But then it turns out until right now, nobody has become the Miss Universe from Indonesia. So I hope what I pray it becomes true to represent my country, to, you know, share everything what we have, the beautiful things in Indonesia, the culture, the people, and especially my cows that I've been working since 2017 to, you know, represent me as the next Miss Universe. So you may make history as the first Miss Universe. I hope so. <laughs>
that we can do things as long as we believe. I gave them the example because I was born not in, you know, in a royal family that is rich, but I grew up making hard times to make my own career since 14 years old until I can stand in here because I was like, before I cannot get everything that I want to, now I can, and I just don't want to live it by myself. I want to share it to them. So in the fact that, yes, it happens. Girls like really working hard to go to college from what I really teach them is like so meaningful, you know, that they got inspired from it. So I hope this one share becomes another share and another. So I hope it's going to be very work uh, working on together with Miss Universe organization. Fun moment, you know, I met amazing people more and more every day. I learn things that I never know. I even learned how to do my own hair. <laughs> how to do my makeup that is more correctly and perfectly my nails too. Like, come on, right? So I'm become more independent right now. I'm become more cheerful. Like I always talk to people, how about my, uh, my life? So it's inspiring them also. So the fun thing is everyone in Indonesia before was bullied me because they thought that I cannot speak, they thought that I cannot good in English. I was not good in English before. But I showed it to them that I want to learn every day, the whole of my reign until right now so I can represent my country in a good way. Great, yes, that's true. Because you know, people before don't trust me that I cannot speak in English. Now, here I am. <laughs> so nothing is impossible. That is also my hashtag that I always share since 2017. My first page in Indonesia for Go to Miss Universe when I was 19 years old. So this is my second. So that uh, from that, my hashtag is nothing worth having comes easy. I always post it every time I post a photos. So it's to share to everyone that what you see in Instagram is something that is only beautiful things. You don't see how they work hard for that. You don't see how they are trying to get that point. So you just have to work on to get that point for yourself, for your future. Well, your English is beautiful. And I learned Indonesian you. when I was in high school. And <laughs> your English is much better than my Indonesian. Ah, thank uh, you. Ah, <laughs> thank you. feels like a dream come true for real because this is every woman's dreams in the world you know to represent their country to meet all the beautiful ladies to share their cows because they are not only a woman that is beautiful and pretty tall but they have the confidence they have the cows to fight for and to work together with the world